welcome again to my channel this is design with lacing in today's video we are going to look at how to design a conference flyer just like this if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to my channel make sure you subscribe because i put in more effort to bring tutorials like this for you okay just to make you good in smartphone design all right guys look at the design we are going to be making today this is, you can see is very sharp some of you might be thinking how can i design something like this using just bezel lab or how can i make a text effect just like this using bezel lab so that is why i am here to show you how to do something just like this if you are new to my channel if it, if this is the first time you are watching my video welcome to my channel this is design releasing if Pizzer Lab, which I'm using, is the premium version of um, Pizzer Lab. If you want to download this version and follow up with me, I will link it in the description. It will also pop up on your screen. Go and watch that video and download this app. I, I am giving it for free for those who is subscribed to my channel. So go subscribe, make sure you subscribe, and go and watch that video so that you will download this app and you can follow up. Okay. All right, so in today's video, all the files I'll be using, I will link it. I will link it in a folder in the description of this video, so you can download the files and make use of them. This is just for um, tutorial purpose. Okay, these files are uh, you can make use of them just to practice. Okay, all right, guys. So without much time wasting, let us dive in to today's video. Alright, so the first step you will do is to open up your Pizzle Lab. So when it opens up your Pizzle Lab, this is the interface you are going to meet. This is the default you are going to meet. So the first thing we are going to do now is to set up our design size. Okay, this is our design area. So anything inside here will be um, will be saved anytime we want to save it. Okay, alright. To set your size, can you go up to this? three dot at the top right corner of your screen so tap on that three dot when you tap on the three dots you will see option like this so among this option you will see image size so tap on the image size to set your size so this option we have um, here you can set your size so if you tap on this custom custom if you tap on this custom if you can custom the size so let's say if you want to use the square size for want to use the square size for social media is also good for social media the profile picture size then here we have the youtube channel banner so that's how you set your size all right so if you want to input your own figures to do that tap on this place these numbers that you see here so this is the width and this is the height to tap on that just tap on it so the size we are using will appear on the screen so i'm using 1280 pixel as the width and um, tap on the height to set the height 1280 pixel as the height you are not going to add the pixel just add only the figures okay all right so this is it so this is the size we are going to be using i'm done setting my size so the next thing we want to do is to prepare our background and to do that we have to delete this text you see so tap on this text and then tap on the uh, delete button here to delete the text all right so tap on okay so the text is gone so the next thing to do is to change our background color so to do that go up to this point that's it you can follow the illustration and the train on the screen tap on that when you tap on that you will see this colors controls the background so to change the background color to our own color tap on color that you see here tap on the color so here you can choose i'm making use of gradient so here color is selected so we have to select gradient so to do that tap on gradient and the gradient will be selected so here you can set your gradient as for you since you don't have the type of gradient i'm using here to select this gradient what you have to do is tap on this plus button here so you're just going to tap on the plus button so here you can set your gradient so to set your gradient right so what you are going to do is to tap on this first color stop just tap on it once then tap on the paint bucket tool here this is the paint bucket tool 
tap on it once so here we can set our color to so input your color which is the color i'm using you can um, use the slider on this to um, set the color this is the slider so you can use this slider to set the color okay or if you want to use the same color code which i'm using it is written above here okay so you are just going to copy this color code and insert it it will show on the screen so you um, write it down then copy it to insert it what you are going to do is to tap on this edit so if you tap on the edit it will give you option to edit the color code which is here all right so you can use this for any of your subsequent design so tap on it to edit it so write the color the color here inside this place then you go back all right so when you tap when, when, when you edit it you go back so let's say i'll edit it now so d okay all right so i'll edit it so when you are done editing it what you, are, you don't touch any of these other colors okay only edit this color when you are done you tap on the um, good the okay button that is here tap on it first before you tap on the done okay button which is this one okay all right so our colors will be our color will be applied so to set another uh, color stop tap on this other color stop so tap on it once and um, the same thing tap on the um, pen bucket to tap on the edit to input your color this the same process we use then tap on ok and tap on ok then finally tap on ok all right so this is the color of our background which we are going to be using so when you are done setting this you just tap on the ok button here tap on it once and our background color is set all right all right guys so the next thing we are going to do is to bring in if you check my own design there's something like is is like a um, a texture or a pattern so to bring in that what i'm going to do is to tap tap on the plus button up here so tap on it once then among the option tap on from gallery to pick the image to to pick the texture from the from my gallery so i'm going to tap on uh, my gallery to go into my gallery to pick the image okay all right so i'm going to pick my image now so the image is in my download folder so it's in my download folder so i'm scrolling down to the point where the image is now to pick it up all right so this is it so i'm just going to pick it up all right so i'll pick it up then this is the image i'll be using all right so this is it that's it um pattern texture that i'll be using so i'm just going to place it here place it all right so place it here then to ch to change the color i'll be changing the color to white to do that with the um the image selected tap on this place tap on it once then tap on color so here you can see scroll down you see color tap on color then change the co enable it change the color to white okay so this is white change it to white and tap on the good button then tap on opacity reduce the opacity of it to something around 45 then tap on ok all right so we are going to log this to the background to do that select it then go over to this is your layer panel tap on it then tap on the per lock button beside it to lock it to the background so when you are done locking it you tap on the layer panel um, icon here again to remove that all right guys so that's the background we are going to be using so, so to bring in the white background which was below here to do that you are just going to tap on the plus button here okay you can download that from online but what i'm using since i'm using the premium version of this app is provided for me in my font um in my font in my font so to do that tap on this plus button add a text so this text i'm double tapping on it right k all right this is very important right k uh, letter k okay then tap on okay so letter k is written here all right so now so now tap on this place this a button select the letter k then tap on the a button scroll down to where you will see font okay this is my font all right so scroll down to a point there's a font because the premium version gives you access to some certain stuff 
okay so here you can see this barcode you can make use of bar this barcode in your design so um some of these font forms what we call icons okay if you are not using the premium version you can download any of these from online okay i'll do a video on that later in this channel but scroll down to a point all right so this is the font which i'm using so scroll down until you get to this point okay then tap on it and tap on ok all right so look at it now it changes the, k, the letter k changes to a what a shape so you are just going to put this below here so scale it up very big then put it below here like this all right so you can see how easy it is put it below here then go to your layer panel this is my layer panel go to your layer panel tap on it and lock it okay tap on it button the uh, lock button and lock it to the background all right so the next thing is to bring in our images okay to do that which is um, our pastor images but before that let us work on our text first okay so all right so to add our text tap on the plus button add text then double tap on it and change it text content which is um fast so cap all capital letters fast all right tap on this place to change it to all capital letters all right they will change to all capital letters tap on okay scale up the size okay all right scale up the size then go to font change the font size to all right so scroll to a point where you see this type of font this is the font i'm using for this okay Alright, so you scroll to this point where you see this font. Alright, tap on it and tap on OK. So this is the font. So scale it down a little bit. Alright, so fast. So uh, what we are going to do, tap on the text, then scroll down to a point where you will see um, where you will see relative position. Tap on relative position, place it at the center of the page. This and this. Tap on two of them. Tap on these ones so place it tap on it once and tap on it all right so now it's placed at the center of our page okay all right so this is the first test so tap on the text and then tap on copy so here you can see copy tap on copy so it will copy that text scroll down go to a relative position bring it to the um, the same position of the first text okay now go to your layer panel this is very important you have to pay attention go to your layer panel so this is if um text above this other text so now bring this up text below the down text okay then select the down text and go to select the down text then go to shadow so go to shadow this is shadow so go to shadow okay tap on your shadow enable the shadow so the default color of the shadow will be black so now we are going to change the color of that shadow to yellow okay to make that glow effect so tap on this plus button tap on it then pick use this slider to pick um, yellow color so yellow something like this then push this slider to a brighter yellow then push this other one down here to uh, to reduce the opacity of that yellow and tap on ok all right so you can get you can see we have gotten something related to that but you have to add another tricks again all right so go to shadow again this is my shadow all right so now we can um the opacity make the opacity 84 then make the blur radius to the highest all right make it to 50 which is the highest all right so we've gotten something related to that so what we are going to do is to duplicate the first text again the one which we added shadow effect to so tap on that then tap on copy scroll down go to related position place it the same position as the first one so now take it below it okay something like this so we have gotten the glow stuff around it so now we are going to go to your layer panel um, tap on this icon tap on this icon okay so we are merging the first the three uh, fast text together okay so now we are going to merge it together so we are merging it all right 
so we merge the text together so now we can take this text above okay all right so the next step which we want which we have to do is to add the other text and to do that tap add a text this is our text double tap on the text okay change the text content to race race so the race should be in capital letter okay race capital letter all right change it to capital letter so scale up the text put it this way scale it up so now change the relative position to the center relative position center the same thing we did for the first test so change the font of this text to race all right so scroll to a point where you will see under racing so scroll to a point where you see racing numbers and select the font then select okay so this is a font we are going to be using so you can see some part of this this text they are cut off so to avoid that select the text then go to scroll down you see padding add left padding maybe 22 add um, right padding um, 22 then tap on the ok so this is the text so now go to relative position this is the relative position tap on that so set the relative position to center then tap on ok so now we are going to duplicate this text the same thing we did for the first text that's what we are also going to do for the second text so now copy this text go to relative position again place it at the um, center of the page go to your layer panel bring it below the other text tap on the other text the down text then add a shadow effect to it so add a shadow effect then the other color will also be here so just add that and make the blur just uh, 44 tap on ok alright so now go to tap on the down text again and duplicate it copy it go to related position and place it at the same point okay all right so, so this was how i created those texts so now we are going to uh, merge the the rigs the race text so i'm going to merge that text now so it's merged so now i can scale it up okay i can easily scale it up like this. for the other one i can scale it down to fit on top of this okay something like this all right so something like this all right so something like that so the net what i'm going to do i'm going to merge these two texts together so that it will be easier for me to move it to do that go to your layer panel please anytime i mention layer panel know that i'm talking about this so tap on that merge the two layers together okay so that i can easily move two of them together okay, so now i can move the two of them all right so let me zoom out to so zoom out your your canvas which is your design area tap on the, the um, zoom here so now i can zoom it out to, play, to place it very well all right all right so this is the text so the next thing i will be adding is the conference text so to do that tap on the plus button tap on text take it down here so this should be edit the text conference so this is just an image imaginary flyer i did there's no event happening like this okay just an imaginary flyer okay all right so this is the conference te conference text so now change the font of the conference text to any visible font that you have on your on your what on your pizza lab to any visible font any font that will be visible for this i'll be using roboto regular so this is the roboto regular i am using tap on ok and this is the text all right so now bring the text below yes scale this up a little bit then go to the plus button add a shape so this one we are going to add a rectangular shape so that it will house the um, conference text okay so the rectangular shape should be here like this something like this all right then the text should come over the rectangular shape all right so now let's change the color of our text to change the color of the text, just tap on color select the text and tap on color so for this we are using gradient color the same gradient we use for the background that's what we are using so you can see our text is below the shape so bring it up go to your layer panel 
hold the text and move it hold the text and move it above the uh, move it above the shape so you can see our text have appeared all right so bring it here all right bring it all right all right so now let's let's increase the spacing between the characters of this conference text to do that tap on spacing so scroll down select the text scroll down among this option tap on spacing increase the spacing to something 27 and scale down the text again all right all right guys so something like that so now let us merge the conference text but before you merge the conference text this is what you have to do so that it will not be stressful for you again so select the conference text and copy it so keep this one separate color this um, white so that you can see it anytime you want to make use of this so you are just going to color the conference text so we are leaving this here because we will make use of it later all right so now go to your layer panel merge the conference text the first conference text and the shape together so merge it together all right so now we'll merge the conference and the fast race text together okay you can see what i'm doing so merge the conference and the fast race text together all right so something like that so now i can move can easily move this group of uh, text together okay all right so this is our theme of the event so bring the second conference text above it so this will be the people hosting the event so i'm going to write that so that's the people's name hosting the event they should all be in capital letter so now let us lock our text so that it cannot move so to do that go to your layer panel use the lock button in there okay so that the text will not move as you are arranging this other one okay all right so this is the people hosting the event, so I'm just going to place their name there, then copy this again, copy the text, bring it below you, so this one will be present. Alright guys, so if you are new to my channel and you are watching this video, you are enjoying it, please subscribe to my channel and turn off the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I post videos like this. I drop videos almost every day. Alright guys, so let's move on. So bring this other text so this should be the present why um, this should be the present appearance present so now we are going to merge the, uh, the company's name and the present together so go to your layer panel merge those two texts together something like this all right so now we can scale it up or we scale it down so we are just, just going to put it at the upside here all right so let's unlock this so that we can move it so now let's move it closer to it all right so let's bring back our zoom and see what we have been working on all right guys so look at what we have been working on for long now so it's almost getting into shape all right so the next thing is to bring in our images and this is very important how you edit these images to become black and white is very important Okay, so to bring in these images, this is what I'm going to be doing. So tap on the plus button here, tap on it, then tap on from images to bring in the image. So now it will take me to my gallery. So this is the image I'll be using for this. So I'll bring in this man's image. So this is the man's image. Alright, so this is the mass image. I'll bring it somewhere here. I'll scale it down a little bit. Alright, so this is the mass image. So go to your layer panel. Bring the mass image below the down shape. This is the down shape. So we want to bring the mass image below this shape. So to do that, go to your layer panel. Select the mass image. Long press where I'm holding. Bring it down under the shape. Okay, shape. This is the shape. So now you can see the mass image is under this shape. Okay. so now we can tap on the mass image then go to tap on the mass image then go to this place okay tap on it so scroll down when you scroll down you will see color filters okay among this option you will see these color filters tap on the color filters then reduce use the same setting i'm using reduce the saturation to 
uh, minus 100 then I reduce the hue saturation to 70 then I um, increase the brightness to something 28 then the contrast make the contrast 26 okay so that's the mass image now this is the mass image all right we can do some little touch so <coughs> change some of these settings but to make it black and white make sure the saturation is minus 100 okay so this is how we edit this okay so just play with this you can use the settings i'm using the hue i'm using six plus 16 then the saturation is minus 100 the brightness is 7 then the contrast is 41 so when you are done select it okay and all right all right so this is the mass image for us not to be selecting um, the images one by one what we are going to do this is the tricks is very important so select the mass image then <laughs> tap on copy so copy the mass image bring it somewhere here so now select the mass image go to this place and tap on reselect this is the reselect tap on the reselect to bring in another image to replace the mass image so now i'm going to select this guy's image all right so it will take the same filter that was on the first image okay all right so go to your layer panel bring this um, layer below the shape layer something like this so you can place it anywhere you like all right so the next thing is to bring in the ladies image so do that copy this image again copy it bring it to any position you want it to be then tap on reselect to bring in the ladies image so i'm going to scroll to a point where i will see those images okay all right so i'll go to my gallery to bring in those images Alright, so this is the other lady's image. So I'm going to reside the same thing I did. So go to your layer panel, bring the image below the K shape so that you can hide behind the shape. So this is other this is the other lady. So this one's image. So just re re rearrange them the way you like. Alright, so now I'm going to bring in the other lady's image. So copy this other lady's image, copy it, take it to this position. Then tap on reselect to bring in the ladies image. So to do that, this is what I'm going to do. Alright, so this is the image. I'm just going to scale it down so that it can enter. So this is the other ladies image. So the same thing, move the image below the K shape, which is the down shape. Alright. All right, so now you can rearrange them the way you like. You can rearrange them the way you like. So let's take the mass image to this other side a little. All right, and we got something like this. All right, so the next step is to bring in our done text. And to do that, which is the featuring, so to do that, tap on the plus button, tap on text bring in the text below here change the color of the text to black so the color of the text should be changed to black okay all right so change the font size change the font type to uh, monstera so scroll down until you got to a point where you will see monstera or let's make use of monstera so scroll down until you got to a point where you will see that text okay let's make use of the um, asimov Asimov it so make use of the snart one so tap on the okay so this is the text so edit this text to featuring okay okay something like this or capital letter all right guys so let's zoom our design out so that we can see what we are doing all right so scale it down bring it to the center of this page to know the center of the page just select the text then go to relative position this is the relative position tap on that then tap on this vertical center okay that one so it will place that text to the center of the page all right so let's lock all our images our text our images so let's lock them down there all right so this is our text it's going to be here all right so duplicate this text copy the text bring it back 
below it okay so this other text should be let's this other text should be what was happening so we have talks we have talks use this to different to demarcate them then we have games okay then we have games then we have a mindset 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 reform okay then we have um, a much more much more okay all right change all of this to capital letter all right so this will be in one line so put it below the featuring text okay something like this you can scale it down a little so this should be all under the um, featuring text so copy this text again to add um, the the uh, vip and all that so double tap on it to change the text so to change this text we are just going to so here we have vip uh, 5000 vip it's going to be 5000 okay going to be 5000 then demarcate it with dix then uh, we have uh, vip that is going to be 10000 all right so make it all capital letter so this should be below here like this something like this all right so we can change the color of the vip to another color so to do that uh, select the text go to color so now we can use this to select the color we want to change so we use um, this to select the color so to do that tap on this and highlight only the vip then select red color so let's uh, select red then move it again select or highlight only the vvip make it red and it's as simple as that so let's take our design to uh, the normal zone position all right and our design is set all right so when you're done with all this what we are going to do is to save the work and to save the work first of all save it as a project so tap on this. okay tap on that then save it as project first tap on the save a project then type in your project name when you're done you tap on the done uh -huh. then when you're done tap on the okay button because i'm not going to save mine because mine is already saved okay all right so now you are going to save it as image to do that tap on that same position then you see save as then save it as image okay all right so custom this make the um, you see custom here so tap on this small dot beside it to make it um, ultra that's the quality we are going to use then we are done tap on save the gallery which is up there okay and our image is going to be saved so pay attention to this last part this is where you enhance the quality of your design so now let's go back to our default um, design so this is our default design delete this all right please guys subscribe to this channel It's very important to me it will help me to it will also motivate me to do videos like this for you all right all right so now let's bring in our the full design which we did so tap on from gallery to bring in that design so you're just going to tap on that so this is from gallery so bring in this design which we did just place it it will serve as our background so let's enhance the quality of this design to do that at to do that scroll to the right hand side then here you will see um, this so just tap on that then you can see brightness contrast and all that so now let's increase the brightness to something around 18 okay then let's increase the contrast to something around um, 18 also so you can see how sharp our design is becoming okay so it's as simple as that so now let's save it as image again so save it as image again the same thing ultra save it as ultra then save it as image all right guys and we are at the end of this video thank you guys for watching my video give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to this channel i'll see you in the next video